Shop dog, Bo. Welcome, next video. The next video is about the burka base. How do I make a burka base? You probably see why it's called the burka base now. Um, because of the shape, of course. Um, it's a thing you put somewhere on your, on your table if, or whatever, or you can take it with you in, uh, in the park. And then you take your phone, you put it in, and if you play music, it sounds much better now than when you just have your phone. I put this uh, on a German woodworking forum, and then somebody asked, oh, how do you make that? So I replied, with uh, and I emailed him uh, a few sketches and drawings from this is the uh, order to work in um, and then another 20 25 people asked for the drawings so I thought maybe it's a good idea for a video this is a piece of wood in fact this is sycamore London plain sycamore about 13 13 centimeters and 19 centimeters long. It's a bit short maybe because we want to make a sort of a horn. But anyway, this is what it is. There's cracks in here also. We'll see what happens. It's dry already. Um, and I first start, of course, by making it round. And I like to use a big spur um, if, I, if, I, if I want to spin a piece like this. There's some bark over here, so I will for sure wear a face mask. Thanks, Lise. Yeah. People say often that I look much prettier when I wear a face mask. Thank you, dear. Okay, there we go. So it is round enough now. Time to make a tenon to hold it in the chuck. Uh, it's going to be in this chuck, so I have to make a little tenon over here. There's not, there's still some some rough pieces here, but I don't mind. I will shape it later. And if you if you look at this one, you see I probably will turn this away. First I make a tenon. Here's my tenon. As you see here it's not very deep and here it is very deep but I don't care. It's about the jaws to grip around the tenon. Got my piece in the jug. If I've done it all right, the uh, the center fits exactly in the same place. Um, and I'm going to hollow now the piece of wood. 
before I do, I want to flatten this surface because now it is, well, definitely not flat, I'd say. Maybe you have to move over a little bit now, Lise, because this piece is going, coming off. Anyway, Ow! we take this one out of the way, and here comes the best feature of the robust lace, and it's gone. This here is end grain, um, and because it is end grain, and I want to uh, cut with the grain, I drill a hole and start in the middle and work myself outside while hollowing it. So I start here in the middle, there still is a center point, so that's a good point to start with my drill. And I drill a hole because here in the middle, if I want to start there, the wood has no speed. Place my drill in the center, uh, check if the speed is not too high and start and drill. I get, I think about every two weeks or every three weeks, I get the question, because I, I sell wood turning stuff also, I get the question, hi Ronald, I want to start hollowing, which hollowing tools shall I buy? It's always very difficult for me to answer, because if, do you want to make small work, do you want to make big work, do you want to work under a shoulder? And there's lots of tools, Rolly Munro, Crown Revolution, I like to work with the pro form from woodcut. If I use it in a situation like this, this steel bar I can go out about this, but I like to use it um, very much inside the handle and I have an extra handle attached to it. So I can hold it like this and there's a very a uh, big piece of metal going into the wood, so there is hardly any vibration, that's what it's all about. Let's start hollowing. So I'm at the end of the drilled hole now, so I will get back to my drill and make a new hole, not that fast. So it's getting dark in there, so I have a little LED light with a magnet. When it stops, you want to see what you've done. I think I'm about deep enough now. It's more or less rough shaped, I think. I think it's, I could go a little bit 
thinner on the wall over here so that it, it's a bit wider at the end. Uh, and I have to finish the inside. So this is just a rough hole. So I have make, I make my finishing cut now. If you're not that experienced with a cutting tool like this, the easy way to get the ridges out is to use a scraper um, and use it a bit hanging down so that there's no bevel contact, definitely no bevel contact, it's a scraper. And move slightly, move gently forwards and backwards to get the ridges out. have to go any thinner there. Well, you see the ridges are out pretty good. Going in a bit deeper now. And now for the last passes. I think we can send. So blow the dust out again. And this is 240. Good enough. I'm gonna make a deep cut here. Because I end in a point and now I can start making it thinner. That was the rough cutting. Check the wall thickness. Well, if I'm... There's not much left if I take this out completely. Well, that is about... I'd say about 12 millimeters or something like that. So I'm afraid this is going to stay in. So, the inside is okay with me. Uh, I'm not gonna spray lacquer this or there's... On the other one, the one I just showed you, there's melamine lacquer on the outside. It's a very hard wearing lacquer, water resistant. So that's very good for a piece like this that you hold and you put it somewhere and you shove in your phone. So a hard wearing lacquer is good. So that was melamine lacquer on that one. On this one, I won't spray anything. So I can take it out because I need this wood to make uh, the, the nice little point and that's why I would like to use it now in this position. So what I have to do then is make a gem chuck, make a, a temporary chuck where I can, that I can put in here and I can clamp this one on my gem chuck. So I need a piece of wood to make a, a temporary chuck and I always have the, the lowest drawer in my, in my uh, box here is um, full of these pieces of wood. Look there's the tenon and here is a screw thread. I have no idea what I did with it but I have used it and I will probably use it again. Um, but now I would like to have something, this one will do, I can fit it I think in the chuck and make a well something that fits 
in my burka base on this side. So this piece will do. It'll fit the chuck for sure. And now I have to get a ridge here that fits in here. That'll do. Wonderful. So now I need my life center again to support here. So I take my life center back with one finger. Ah, oh, great. And I have to make sure it is centered now. Great. It's moving a little bit, but it's not, pro not a problem because I will take one continuous pass from here to there. shape is nice something like this some turning marks that I will would like to get out but look at the this part here it's the quarter sawn material in the London plain it's really beautiful time for some sanding 180 grit That's good enough. Is it 240? I'm going to make it a little bit thinner here. Put this thing out of the way. What we need to do now is make a groove in here where the phone can sit in and we have to make two little feet underneath. Put this adapter on the life center. Make sure there's no pressure marks. this side uh, visible so I make my cut here uh -huh. 
hope I'm deep enough. So the speaker of my phone is here. So it's got to be in the Burka base to function. Um, it is. Yep. So send this part. These are going to be the legs of our uh, Burka base. Two pieces of black walnut. As you see, I did not put much effort in them to get them exactly equal. But when they get off the lathe, they, then they are equal. I'm going to glue in a dowel over there. So put some CA in the hole and put some activator. Always be careful with your fingers. So there's a bit, a little bit smaller chuck. And smaller chucks hold small things. You see, I'm completely out of center, but I really don't care. I think that's still a little bit too big. Let's make it a bit smaller. Because I like elegant legs. Bit of sanding. It's only 240. What you can do now is put some oil or lacquer on it or whatever. Um, the big trick is now to make the other one exactly the same. The second leg goes in. Bit too big. Better be safe than sorry, so let me measure for a minute. It's over there. Good. Wow. This one is a bit thick. Thicker, right? Mm. Now we're doing a bit sanding. What grid is it, please? 180. No, 240. Yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be the holes for the legs. Will do. Yep, it'll work.
And the other one. Two holes, two legs. Great, looks great, so let's glue them in. Put some glue in the hole. Some activator. That's the first one. Second one. Let's find out now if it works. First, I will have a piece of music. This is from a musician that also turns wood. He's a wood turner. Greek musician. Michalis Cholevas, or something like that. I can't pronounce his name, but anyway, it's, it's about his music. Listen. Thanks for watching. See you next time.